Hey guys, do y'all ever have trouble coming up with ideas for new videos or new blog posts? Today I'm going to teach you a ways that you can never run out of ideas. First off, if you're new to this channel, this is Life Without Boundaries. We talk about different ways and methods to make money online. We talk about building an online business and just different ways that you can supplement your income so that you can break down the financial boundaries in your life. And if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the bell notifications to let you know when we release new videos. We release new videos five times a week. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now the first idea that we are going to use to generate content and ideas for content is Google. And we're going to use the Google Autocomplete in the search uh, bar to come up with ideas. So if, our, if we're talking about um, fitness... You want to type in some fitness, but you don't want to just type in uh, a word. You want to try and start a phrase with that word. So let's do how to lose and see what comes up. How to lose. Okay, how to, how to lose weight, 450,000 people a month. So this is... Um, these little numbers here, it's an add-on called Keywords Everywhere, but it helps you uh, see how many people are searching for certain things in Google. Now, what you could do is you can start continue typing this stuff, and it'll come up with more options. So 450,000 people a month, that's kind of broad subject. So what you want to do is maybe you want to lose weight fast still 550,000 a month but you know in 10 days it goes down to 9,000 uh, 9,000 people a month um, in a week 40,000 people a month so all of these could be topics that you'd want to create content on because look the competition that's what these little numbers are for is pretty low how to lose weight in 10 days but there's lots of people searching for it per month so that would probably be a really good um, topic to do a video on and if you do something else like how to how to um, gain muscle gain muscle fast uh, how to gain muscle weight how to gain muscle mass fast all these things could be um, ideas or titles of videos or blogs that you can write about or talk about uh, on your platform so that could that's one of the ways that I do one of the things that I do to help get ideas for my videos and things like that the next method we're going to look at is Google Trends now Google Trends is an excellent tool to figure out what you are going to uh, do a subject about or a video about because it tells you what's popular and what's going on in the world so uh, if if we're going to stick with fitness, so let's type in fitness. Let's see what's trending in fitness. Now, uh, fitness, let's see, related topics. Titan Fitness in Shelby, Tennessee. Uh, Edge Fitness Club. Also, it's got these related queries too. So if you know about Cora Fitness or OB Fitness, different workouts, uh, fitness trackers 2018 all of these things are popular they're trending right now now if you're gonna make a this would be awesome to make a video about the best fitness trackers of 2019 because now it's 2019 so if 2018 was trending back then 2019 would be even more trending and what you could do is you could search and this is for the past 12 months so that's why 2018 is uh, so big but if you want to do like past 30 days you can see different things are changing Britney's, Brittany Dawn fitness scam uh, I, I'm not in the fitness niche so this looks huge this looks really popular it's up 3,000 percent and rising so maybe this is something that you'd want to uh, talk about in, in a video uh, whoever Brittany Dawn is or whatever she's trying to sell people are obviously thinking it's a scam so you might want to um, talk about this product uh, this topic or maybe any anytime fitness you know uh, it's getting some searches 2400 searches a month 
Maybe you want to talk about what they have to offer and things, uh, maybe review their gym. Uh, so Google Trends can be very powerful when coming up with ideas for videos and blogs and things like that. Another method of finding uh, ideas for videos is YouTube. And what you can do is you can find your niche. Uh, we're going to stick with the fitness just for this video. And you find like the top people in that niche. Now, Jim Legion's got uh, 199,000 subscribers. Subscribers. That's a pretty big uh, following. And what you'll do is, is you go to videos and then you sort by popularity, most popular. And you can see which videos did really well for them. Top 10 workout songs. Uh, train insane aesthetic fitness motivation all of these things are performing very well and this was three weeks ago 863,000 views and so you can watch these videos find out what the content they're doing and, and you don't want to steal their content you just want to um, make it your own so use it as inspiration uh, maybe you'll do like top five workout songs and then do different songs than them. Uh, this is 2017, so you do 2019. Uh, and you just include your what you think is cool. Now, there's no automatic success with this. Obviously, if you make one similar to this, you're not going to get 4.6 million views right away. Uh, there's different things to... Um, that play a factor in getting noticed but it would be a good place to start is looking at all these top niche uh, top channels in your niche and getting ideas from their videos so that's a really good way to find some content now the last one we're going to talk about is TubeBuddy TubeBuddy is a free add-on that you can add on to Firefox or um, Google Chrome and what it does is it installs this button right here on your YouTube page and it gives you some tools and things. So you can go to like Keyword Explorer for TubeBuddy and you can start typing things like let's do fitness. And you hit explore. And it will give you, it will tell you if it's a good, a good uh, thing to make content on. Now obviously fitness is too broad so it's not going to say uh, this is a good uh, topic to, to make a video on so you would again try and shorten it up by typing in one of those phrases how to lose weight so let's try how to lose weight now this still is too broad but it did get a little bit um, a little bit smaller so let's do lose weight fast and it should shrink again okay it got a little bit better now it auto completed for teenagers so let's try that one teenagers and now this is a much better result to do a video on so you may have never even thought of this if it wasn't for the keyword planner kind of auto filling in these things for you and to show you how uh, well that video will do compared to like competition. You see it doesn't have much competition. It's got a decent enough search volume and you can optimize it very well. So this would be a really good uh, video to make. So you can see how powerful this tool is and I use it a lot and what I'm trying to find out what to do videos about. So I hope that you found these methods useful and I hope that, that it kind of gets some ideas stirring in your brain to come up with some new content so that you can put out there for your customers to uh, show them that you're providing value to them. I'm Philip Wiley and I'll see you next time.